There's a lot of cabins throughout California that are just like this, so it's a good thing for people to think about. You can see they've been outfitted with metal roofs, which is something that we pushed really hard in the 90s and early 2000s, because a lot of uh, wood shingle structures were catching on fire. Initially, a lot of these shutters are all open and you can see inside here we have just single pane windows and the radiant heat from the flames will come through. And they have the blind strong, which is good, but the radiant heat could catch light flammable things inside and then burn inside there without us knowing. I kind of actually like this spot. is It lets everybody know that the propane's been moved to the middle With that little bit of containment that we've done around it, it shouldn't have any major flame impact. A direct flame impingement on this, it, given enough time, will catch this on fire. And that's why we've scraped here. So the flame lengths that are coming off of this grass here and this stuff is not gonna be enough to catch this on fire. It's these trees have been limbed up really nicely and you can see down below we have a pretty good clearing here so the fire will be in the bushes which will give off some pretty good flame lengths but then as it as it approaches the structure here it'll be a ground fire that comes through. None of them have gutters so there's not a lot of needles problems in the gutters that we see at traditional homes. We left that pile it has good clearance around it. They're keeping up on the properties. It looks like they've been doing a really good job.